Hi, for those of you who requested a full breakdown, here it is. I'm going to let the RAM play out once so you can hear the in-game comm slash what I'm saying real time and then I'll go back and break it down with look. notes. You if you're only interested in the breakdown, I'll leave a timestamp for when that starts. Okay. Sound sensor up. You should peek from elbow and then net this. You usually just dash. The fuck out of it. I just try to try. try. Alright. Get out of my oh. way! Flash. On me. Blocking movement. Running up mid. Flash again. Push an elbow thing. Right here. I'm falling off. Okay. Spike down, B. I'm going B, going B. Hey, coming. There's one on A. There's one, right? Yep. Last player standing. Ooh. Scratch spike planted. No charges. No one's sight. I don't know where they are. No. One enemy remaining. Three down. Pull them to their grave! Real- NICE! Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit, what the fuck? I do not break. That's cool. You're crazy. Pop off. Thank you. There's no need for the enemy to suffer. Before I start breaking things down, I, I want to preface that this is geared more towards beginners or people who are trying to improve their game sense. You. If you're confident in your game sense, a lot of this is going to feel painfully obvious to you and that's okay. But there are players out there who could find this useful. You should peek from elbow Over and net this. You usually just dash. Out of it. I just try to try. Before the run starts, I'm communicating to my sightmate that I want them to peek from elbow because I'll throw a grab net to slow their push. In a previous round, I swung elbow and they didn't flash me at all. I was able to get one, but I got traded immediately. I'm asking Reyna to fight from elbow because I know they use most of their utility for short. If they went A, they would blind short by default, and of course when their cypher spots me on cam, their jet is going to tunnel vision and dash on me. I wanted Reyna to swing elbow because they would be focused on chasing me, but because of the grab net, their team would be zoned off from each other or crowd controlled, which is theoretically where Reyna should come into play. But if you watch the minimap, she never makes it further than where the barrier ends because I think they were too scared to push. I know they did mention that they got flashed off from singing, but later we find out it's literally a solo phoenix. Phoenix flashes are best utilized at corners, and if he never makes it to the corner of elbow because he's netted, he can't flash. Reyna is also the perfect agent to be peeking this corner too, right? Because if she gets one, she can safely dismiss a way to repeat from a different angle. Sometimes it just comes down to whether your teammate has the bigger ego or not, and I guess they were scared of phoenix. Get out of my way! Flash. Movement. Running up mid. Flashed again. Push an elbow thing. Right here. I'm falling off. Okay. At this point, I walled short to delay just in case it was a fast push and my teammate got pushed off elbow, which is fine. I see on my map that the spike is spotted toward B, so at this point I'm going to leave my teammate and rotate to help Sova since our mid player also got picked off. Enemy spike B. down B. Go B, go B. This is where it's looking pretty grim. It's a 2v4. Me and Silva are separated and my teammate loses the duel to the solo elbow player. But this is important because it's information I'll get to use later. Hey, okay, coming. There's one on A. There's one, right? Yep. Last player standing. Ooh. If you noticed, there's a moment that I walked before, which is before Silva died. I was gonna see if I could sneak up and surprise the market person, but as Silva died, I decided fuck it. It's 1v4, it's pretty unwinnable, I'm just gonna see what I can get and play off momentum. Stretch fight plan. No charges. However, Jack got cocky and gave me an isolated duel. No one was protecting the planter, and it's all of a sudden a very winnable round. No one's sight. I don't know where they are. No. I tapped to see if either of them would reveal themselves when I remembered Phoenix was a late rotate from A, so he's likely to have rotated through mid, which is why I was staring at Market. Honestly, their cypher should have been swinging once Phoenix made contact, but they didn't. If you're not familiar with that term, it just means that when Phoenix first spots me and therefore grabs my attention towards them. I can only be looking one place at a time, so I'd be a sitting duck if cypher swung from main. One enemy remaining. Three down. You know, I still wasn't entirely sure if Cypher was main until this point, until he showed himself for free, which I'm not sure why he did that. Pull them to their grave! Real- NICE! Yeah, oh my god! <laughs> 
If you enjoyed the breakdown or learned something, I'd encourage you to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Deadlock content. Hope to see you again and have a great day.